Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at how to put together the needed files for requesting edits to your post. First, you're going to have a part programmed in Mastercam. Ideally, it is fairly simple, but it needs to include toolpaths that show your needed edits. So for instance, if you need an uh, edit to the tapping code, you need to have a tapping toolpath in there. But if you can simplify it down and you want at least a couple toolpaths, it, it does make the process a lot easier. So I have a file here with some toolpaths, and I post out the code. Ideally, you'd know what you want changed, and you just mark it up in the code. So, you know, I just change what I want changed and mark it up. So maybe, for instance, I want uh, this line removed. It's nice if you use a character that you don't find in the code, like a pound symbol or something like that. That makes it easy for us to search and, and find where you made changes. You know, maybe I want the spindle turned on before I move. You know, just make the changes. Ideally, you add a few notes. Once you have all your notes made up, you're going to want to save this file. You may want to do a file save as and save it somewhere where it's easy to find. But you could add the word edited to the name so we know it's edited code. Maybe I put that on my desktop so it's easy to add to an email. Do we need to do a zip to go to send in with that? So I can go to file, zip to go. It may prompt me if I've made changes to my file to save it because it's going to it's be part of the zip to go. It wants to make sure that my file is up to date with a zip. Then I can create a zip to go. Um, the, all, all the files we need are typically default checked ready. I'm just going to hit go right to finish. And then you don't have to do this. We do like it if you switch to the file type to a zip. And then once again, you want to save this somewhere you can find it. The defaults to your documents. Maybe you want to put it on your desktop just so it's easier to find. And it defaults to naming it the same name as whatever your Mastercam file was named. And I create that. And now I just need to attach those files to an email. So you want to just email support at prototech-engineering.com and then you just need to attach the files. So I got mine on my desktop so I can just drag them over here from the other screen. There's my edited code, there's my zip to go, and then that's what we need for doing edits. Okay. 